Hi guys, in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to install PHP on Windows 10 or 11 operating system. To download the PHP, so in Google search box, write there PHP. Then you can get here php.net signed. Click on this. So thereafter, you can get this page here. Click on this download. Then you can see the recent version is 8.34. So let's click on this Windows download. Then after you can give it to this place, non thread save and thread save. So let's uh, download here, zip file. Now click on this start download. So there I'm using IDM Internet Download Manager. So that's done here. Let's click on this open folder. And uh, then after we need to extract this file. So right click, then click on this extract all. So extract this file. So this is currently extracted. And the current version is now 8.34. It can be different in future, but the steps of download and install are same. Now, thereafter, you can get this. So, what you need to do? So, this is here extracted file. Let's copy this one. And you can paste anywhere. I'm going to paste in the C track. And let's give here the meaningful name. So, Let's give you PHP 8.34. After that, let's double click there. And here you can get this all files. If I write press P, then you can see PHP executor file is there. So let's copy this one, copy this location. And in search box, write the edit system environment variable. Then after click on this environment variable, then here path, click on this edit. Here new and paste this location. So let's click on this. Then after opening the command prompt. And this place since path that has been setted. So if I write there PHP minus minus version, then you can see uh, PHP version 8.34 that is just installed. Okay. The next is going to print the hello world with the help of PHP codes. So this is the line of codes to print hello world with the help of PHP. So let's click on this plus and here click on save. So you can save anywhere. Let's save this on this desktop and writing there hello.php. So this is the text that's selected. Let's click on all and click on save. So on this desktop, hello PHP that's created. Then after this file that's is in desktop. So what I'm trying to trying to do, let's copy this location. So changing the directory first with the help of command prompt. So let's write the CD. Test this. We need to run this code. For this one, we need to write here PHP. Get the file name with the extension. Press enter. Here you can see hello world that's displaying. After that, let's add two number with the help of PHP. So copying this line and uh, pasting there. Control S to save. And the same command you need to use. Here you can see the sum of 10. The sum of 10 and 20 is 30. So here 10 and 20 sum that's displaying 30. So this is the way we can install PHP and run the codes. I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.